want to manually install mods in SnowRunner. This is the guide for you. Installing mods on console and PC is usually just a case of finding the mod within the mod browser in SnowRunner, subscribe and then enable. But on PC, certain mods require manual installation or perhaps the automatic mod.io method is failing to work or maybe you are delving into mod making. Whatever the reason, this guide will help you manually install SnowRunner mods in theory. More on that in a second. Now, I will be doing this via Epic, as I cannot really afford to own the game on every platform. This is a small YouTube channel, remember? Also bear in mind that some mods have a specific method to complete. Check the mod description first. This guide therefore cannot be 100% precise for every mod, as it depends on what files the mod maker has modified and or created but it should help with the general process. In case you are unfamiliar with the automatic mod installation process, load up SnowRunner, then select Mod Browser in the main menu, browse the mods, then subscribe if you want to use it. The mod will now download and install. Once done, you will see a notification, enable, and that's it. If it was a map, you will see it under a new game, and then select the map, such as Red Canyon, I made a video about before. Bear in mind consoles have a storage limitation, which is now visible on screen. Another method involves finding the mod we want to install on the mod.io website. Despite the SnowRunner Steam release, mod.io remains the provider for modded content and not Steam Workshop. So point your browser towards mod.io and then search SnowRunner, all links in the description. Now find the mod you want to install manually from the mod.io website. For the majority of mods, you can press subscribe to install and then SnowRunner will install the mod automatically the next time you load the game. It will appear under the mod browser option. Once installed, you will see a notification. SnowRunner will not install the mod if you play the game, so wait a while until the notification appears. It can take a while, even if you have speedy internet, the opposite of the dial-up connection I have. Anyway, if your mod is manual install only, locate the download to install manually button, which has a file size and a cloud with an arrow. Click this, then select save, and save it wherever you want. I use downloads or desktop, as they are easy to find. Once downloaded, locate the new file. It should be a .zip, so that means it needs to be unzipped. You can use WinRAR 7-zip, as I am using, or something similar. Anyway, let the software choose the folder name. Now open another instance of File Explorer. It is easier to use too and navigate to the folder directory where mods are installed. There is a good chance you will need to locate the client folder and adjust the PAK or pack files. Many mods simply edit text file values, which is what you do when adjusting experience and money mounts, if you've ever done that. In this instance, it would be difficult to show you every method, but here's a rough idea. Download the mod from the mod.io website as before and copy or cut it. Now point the file explorer towards, in the case of Epic, C, Program Files, Epic Games, SnowRunner, ENUS, Preload, Packs, and Client. In this list, you will see various .pak files. The two main ones are editor.pak and initial.pak. In this example, we will double click on the initial.pak folder and it will open up in WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you were using. Right click and select open archive or equivalent. Now you will see lots of folders. The one you will usually want is media. Now copy and paste the relevant mod files into their respective folders and subfolders. In this instance, the download underscore DLC file will be inserted into the underscore DLC file, underscore templates for underscore templates and so on, you get the idea. The mod instruction should tell you what files need to go where. If not, you should be able to see what they replace, as they will most likely use the same names located within the initial.pak or whatever .pak has been modified. In case you want to revert back to normal, copy and paste the files you plan to overwrite 
into a folder on the desktop before overwriting them. That's where you can easily go back if you grow tired of the mod. The mod should now work once you have started or restarted SnowRunner if already running. Next, go into the mod browser from the main menu and locate the mods you just added. You can use the advanced filter enabled only option to save time or scroll until it appears up to you. If the mod does not show up, then we know something went wrong. It could be that you got the location wrong or the file was incomplete, either because your internet connection cut out for a second or you have maxed out the storage on the drive you are trying to download to. Check the file size matches what is stated on the mod.io website. If it doesn't match, then yeah, it's not a complete download. As for mod maps, most are installed the convenient way, as in by pressing subscribe to install, as we talked about earlier, or from within SnowRunner's mod browser. If not, expect more copy and pasting files in the right places. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this manual mods guide. Hopefully this will help you work out how to get those mods running. If not, you can complain in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and maybe even donate to help the tribe. Until next time, take care, bye.